Okay, we've, we've done our quick screening neurological examination, so we're talking about people with headaches now and what, what examinations you can do. Now the key thing here is to look for evidence of upper cervical joint or muscle uh, dysfunction. The technical term used is hypomobility, and if people have hypomobility of the upper cervical spine, it can be a contributor to migraine or tension headache. So the two tests are the flexion rotation test, and you also want to be able to identify the C1 transverse process and distract it to see if it generates symptoms. So the flexion rotation test, what you do is you bring your patient sitting, you bring the head forward as far as it will comfortably go, so to get full flexion, and in doing that you're isolating the upper cervical spine, and then you want to see how much rotation you get in that position. Now most people will, like Lee here, gets about a 40-45 degree rotation in either direction. If you've got a restriction of the left upper cervical spine at the C1-2 level, which is the rotating level of the upper cervical spine, then movement away from the affected area is diminished. So if someone had a restricted, so if Lee had a left-sided restricted flexion rotation test, when I bent his head and come round like this, I might only get 10 or 15 degrees when you normally expect about 40, 45. And if that was present, I would be anticipating that this patient might have a one-sided or left-sided headache, potentially driven by the upper cervical spine. So that's the flexion rotation test. The other thing that can be useful is just to palpate the C1 transverse process. If you bring your usually middle or index finger, there's the mastoid process. If you press down just below the mastoid, the next bony point you reach about there, just under the occiput, is the C1 transverse process. If you distract that in a posterior to anterior direction, so I've got counter pressure here, pressing forward there. If that generates a discomfort or pain or reproduces the headache they're experiencing, it may indicate that the C12 transverse process is one of the drivers of the headache. You've got to remember that the skin, muscles, fascia, ligaments, joint capsules, facet joints in that area, they are all innervated by the same nerves. So that pressure is not specific for any one of those structures. You could be stimulating many structures, but again, it's another indication that the upper cervical spine might be a driver of headaches. Thanks.